Hey, what's happening? This producer seven coming back at you with a, another tutorial video on the MPCX. Today I'm going to talk to you about audio tracks, exporting your audio tracks. You know, in 2.0, the big deal is you can record audio tracks now. Well, <clears throat> a couple day, well, a couple weeks ago, I recorded some guitar, and I guess I've been recording the guitar. Uh, wrong or in the wrong place uh, I guess it really don't matter but Akai may want you to record stuff like that guitar and synths and um, stuff like that inside the looper right here you got a tab right here it's a looper function and inside the looper um, they got a little uh, transport right here where you got your, your record they got an overdub right here depends on what settings you put it on and you can resample but you know it just keeps looping around and I guess that's cool because if you got a guitar player or somebody like that bass player playing they can keep you know getting the feel while it loops around and then you can you know uh, save your best take and so uh, and so I haven't been recording right there. I was recording over here in the main audio section. I was recording my guitar and my everything that was taken out the Miko. I was recording over here. And to explain something to you, you got to look at every Akai looks at audio tracks as samples. And so what I was doing was. I was trying to export the audio track out, and I was coming over here like how we always export uh, audio mix down, explode tracks, and all of my MIDI tracks, all of my tracks was coming across except for my audio tracks. And so I'm like, man, and the audio tracks would show up in the folder, but they wouldn't explode over with, with my other files. And so what, I w what I've been getting away with is just coming over here and soloing each audio track one by one and put it on stereo output. And then it would, it would um, export it like that. But that was taking too long, you know, one track at a time. And so I've been trying to figure out... Uh, one shot way of doing it to you know export all the audio files at once you know in or along with the rest of my tracks that I, I explode out but if you if you come over here to the your looper um let's see let me let me resample something right quick right here <laughs> So you got the audio right here, so I can hit, I can hit record, but let me, let me, let me stop this, let me set my, take out my dress out a little bit, now. So after you record in here, after it loops around and you get your, your 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 perfect tape, you can hit this export right here. And so what Akai wants you to do is they want you to they want you to treat this audio just like a sample. You know, name it and then add it to a add it to a program. And so and it's the same way like how I was recording on the audio side they want you to add it to a, a, a program group and so here go my audio tracks right here <laughs> What I need, what they want me to do now is they want me to add it to a, they want me to make it into a sample 
and then add it to a program group. And let me go back to the main page. And if you see right here with my samples, here go my audio tracks right here. So your audio tracks are gonna live with your samples. And all you need to do is just go to um, your program, your program edit. Let me come back over here. Go to your program edit and just like, you know, you make any other program, you'll come down and here go your audio tracks. And that's cool. You know, that's cool like that because, you know, in standalone mode, I guess you can record more audio that way. You know, if you record it, go on and loop it and then um, add it to a program and then um, keep filling up that program um, and then use how I was recording the audios over here on this section, just use that for vocals. And this is the section for in standalone mode, you can only have eight audio tracks. Uh, that's how I've been recording. But even recording like this, you still, they still gonna be treated like samples and, um, and you're gonna have to make a program assign them inside a program and then you can export them out and um, or you can use this function right here and um, another thing that I learned is the drag and drop like let me see here uh, let me solo. <laughs> Okay, so like like this right here, this audio track. I can't just grab it and pull it out right now. You know, I can't, it's not gonna work that way. In the drag and drop, if I hit this, you see it's not lightening up red. This it's export audio, I hit it like that, it's not turning red, so I can't, I can't drag it out nowhere. And so, what I learned also is if you come up here to your preference and come down to, let me see, is it hardware? Drag and drop. If you go to drag and drop, if you change that to master, you click on that and now it'll export your audio track. It, because it's just, you know, um, exporting the master fader. And you see right there. It's but also, that's doing it one at a time. I guess that's cool if you don't, if you don't have a lot of tracks, you know, to export out. A lot of audio tracks. I guess that's, that's a cool, quick way of doing it, you know. But... You just go right here to preference and um, come down to drag and drop and put it on master. And that'll, that'll export that audio track that way. But yeah, so uh, I'm glad I figured that out. Just keep in mind that audio tracks are treated like samples, you know, and so just create your program and um, you can you can add all these samples to your program. Let me come over here. Uh, oh yeah, MIDI side. Let me go to a new sequence. Okay, so yeah, here go my pads. Um, we go to an empty program, and here go my audio samples, my audio tracks, and um. Let 
Let me go to this one, this next one. You see, that got my, my guitar sample right there. And that's what that's how you gotta do. You just gotta you gotta um, treat it like a sample. And so once you build up a program of, of all of your um, audio tracks, you know you may have to replay it. You know just um, put your sample on one shot and hit it at the beginning of the sequence, and it'll play straight through. Just like this. Let me record this right quick. And that's all you gotta do. Just one shot it and it's gonna play out. And then once you once you record it like that, you can hit this drag and drop and uh, it'll export um exp explode just like um just like any other um program and even if you come over here once you do it like this if you come over here to export audio mix down and uh and now it'll come across with the rest of your tracks and so i hope this video helped someone out because it was it was bugging me for the last couple of days and so uh hit the like button subscribe and i hope you enjoy Peace.